The Rolex Submariner is the measuring stick for how we define an icon in the watch world. For many people, when they think of a watch, this is what they think of. Now, any Rolex release is going to garner a lot of attention, but arguably none did more than this in 2020. People poured over the specs, the case size, the bracelet, the dial, and we're going to get into all of that. But more than the watch itself, this watch is about history and cool factor. How did this watch go from tool watch to cool watch? Well, I figured I'd explore New York City with it and find out for a week on the wrist. First introduced in 1953, the Rolex Submariner was really meant to be a true tool watch for divers. It was even issued in some countries to the military, and we call those mill subs. But this wasn't just a watch for adventure seekers and deep water divers. In the 1960s, you started to see it appear in pop culture. Yeah, it's all our fault. Actors like Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, Robert Redford, all famously wore the Submariner. Now, I'm too young to know how Rolex marketed their watches back in the 1960s and 70s, but it says something that when the cameras turned off, and the actors took whatever watches they were wearing on screen off their wrist and put a Submariner on that this is what they decided was the most reliable piece for them. And these were icons of the day. You know, once a watch enters the cultural zeitgeist in that way, it kind of takes on a life of its own. The Submariner is nothing if not recognizable. The design is almost ubiquitous at this point. The black dial, the black bezel, the simple layout created for the ultimate legibility. The Submariner is both unchanged and ever-changing, but it's never lost its soul, that thing which has made it one of the seminal one-watch collections for many. The Sub, known for precision timekeeping, is now more accurate than it's ever been, registering plus two, minus two seconds per day. I often prefer dive bezels to a chronograph when it comes to timing things, and the Submariner is perfect for that. I feel confident I won't miss a beat. Much of the newness in this watch is under the hood. The source of this accuracy is the new Rolex 3230 movement. This is a fully in-house caliber, featuring both Rolex's patented Paracrom Blue Balance Spring and the Chronergy Escapement. The movement provides protection against both shock and magnetism to put up with anything your daily life might throw at you. Hey Pedro, what's going on? Not much, man. You know, just in my apartment, as usual. We're shooting the new week on the wrist. You wanna see the new sub? For sure. I'll get ready. You should check out the neighborhood and I'll meet you up in like half an hour. All right, sweet. Looking at the new Rolex Submariner 124060LN, you'll notice this is the no date model, and it looks just like the outgoing model, but there are some differences here. It's listed as being a 41 millimeter watch. In reality, when we took some measurements of it, it came out around 40.6 to 40.8 millimeters, depending on where you catch the measurements on the case, the lug width, has been increased from 20 millimeters to 21 millimeters. That also results in less of a taper all the way down to the clasp. By increasing the lug width of this watch from 20 to 21 millimeters, you actually get a better fit on wrist despite the increase in the size. I have a vintage Submariner and this felt very familiar to me in that department. It just wore exactly as I'd expect a Submariner to wear. One great thing that you'll always find in a Submariner, and it's the same with this model, is the glide lock extension system in the clasp. This is just a really ingenious way to be able to size the watch as needed for your wrist. With a simple pop out of the bracelet clasp, you can actually slide and adjust the bracelet as needed for fit. This is great in the summer months when your wrist sort of swells up from the heat, or in the winter when our wrists shrink down. You can just keep that good fit without having to take it into your watchmaker or use a watch tool to resize the bracelet. So when you do put this on wrist, it wears almost identically to a 40 millimeter sub.
Okay, hey, Danny. Hey, Pedro. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? How much? In Greenpoint? Yeah. Hey, do you have a seat? Yeah, we're shooting the new Submariner. Oh, is that the 41 millimeter one? Yeah, but like surprisingly, it wears pretty much the same as the 40. I don't know how it looks to you. Dude, you know, I typically don't go for watches over 40 millimeters, but that looks pretty perfect. You want to check it out? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. I love like seeing like all the uh, design elements that influence so many other like, watches. Like the watch you're wearing. Almost, yeah, 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 and seeing like, you know, okay, well this like sits perfectly like on top of the case, whereas like the bezel here is like a little bit more lifted up. Yeah. But that is awesome. It's pretty sweet on you, dude. Dude, I am, I, I gotta go. <laughs> I have an appointment. Uh... Oh, you know what, I, I have a phone call right now. <laughs> The sub is iconic in the same way New York City is iconic. As a recent New York transplant, no watch was better fit for navigating the city than the Submariner. It's tough as nails and can handle it all. What makes the sub cool is its lasting power. It was once a tool, but now represents so much more. It's the ultimate everyday, everything watch. Overall, this is a Submariner through and through. Sure, there have been changes made to the movement, to the size of the watch, but nothing detracts from the whole thing that makes it a Submariner. What Rolex has done here is just taken one of their most iconic watches and just made it better. You know, this watch is meant to be a companion. It's meant to be that kind of one watch that you can just wear for life and not have to worry about. You know, spending time with it around the city, taking it on adventures with me, riding on the boat, getting it close to the water, sort of its natural habitat really solidified that idea for me. You can rest assured knowing that if you're getting a Submariner, you're getting that same watch that it's always been, that you can wear every day and never have to think about.